Alright ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be making this video real quick to show you the modifications I have made to the game for my vanilla Force of Corruption playthrough, which I guess you couldn't really call vanilla if I changed the files, but still. I'm um, gonna run down the list, there are a small list of very simple changes, um, nothing game breaking I guess, um, but I do think it, it's important because it makes the game a little bit more fun. Uh, first and foremost, uh, these are the files that are changed. Just seven files. We're going to go through each one of them um, and I'll show you what I did. Uh, first of all, we are going to be playing on the hard difficulty, um, the Galactic Conquest. Um, I have set the credit multiplier for the AI to 15 times, which is kind of ridiculous. Um, actually, it means that the AI is practically going to have unlimited money because I want more fleets, more stacks, um, basically the AI to build more stuff and send it my way. Um, Contrast, you don't need to worry about um, the galactic build time multiplier, however, you will have to worry about because I have set this multiplier to 2. Normally this is set to uh, 0 0.6, which means that the AI builds everything in just 60% of the time, which it would take you to build um, your ships and your buildings and your ground forces, everything. Um, but the AI takes twice as long to build everything right now. This caused the situation that even though the AI has um, as much money as they could ever wish for, it's going to take them a long time to actually construct their fleets, um, which gives you time to um, to build yours and basically counter them. Um, so even though there are going to be waves of enemies, um, it's not going to be this this massive stream of, of, of undefeatable, um, you know, this armada, as if it was built by the Star Forge itself. It's going to be within reason and it's going to be um, fun to play. I already tested the settings out and they work pretty well. It's actually quite balanced, you wouldn't believe it if you look at this multiplier, but bear with me, you'll see it in the playthrough. Um, expansion factions and factions, um, very simple, I made the very popular change of increasing the uh, space tactical unit cap to uh, 50. All the factions now have 50 population capacity um, in space for some really really large battles, um, because of course we know that vanilla forces of corruption can easily handle this, uh, nothing else changed here, so Onto the next. Uh, game constants, you also don't really have to worry about. The only thing I changed here, I think, is that I um, switched off the flash effect when a ship gets hit on its shields. Uh, there is a, um, a flashy effect that goes throughout the entire ship. A uh, ship lights up very briefly. Um, personally, I hate that effect. It's with a passion. It's terrible. Um, and I wanted it gone, so it, it's out now. It's just a very minor visual change. Won't impact gameplay. Um, hard points underworld. Um, this is actually quite significant. I have changed the uh, executor class Star Destroyer. We'll actually open that file first. Um, there are now six buildable executors. Um, and I changed uh, their size from uh, scale factor 1 to scale factor 2. Which means that the ship is now going to be double the size that it was in the vanilla game. Um, which of course we know that in Forces of Corruption the executor wasn't correctly scaled. Um, this isn't really as much of a problem. Um, I simply scaled it up. There are a few more changes. I have increased its speed. Um, oh, let's actually change this to something a little bit more reasonable. Okay. Um, I have put it on a slightly lower uh, level Z adjust, which means it's slightly below the battlefield now, um, at least further away. Um, nothing too much, but uh, just so ships don't collide with um, the craft. Um, I've made the ship only buildable on capital ship planets. Um, it takes a little bit longer to build, I think. Um, I think, uh, I'm not sure if I can find the shield points here somewhere. I changed the shield points, I think I doubled them. Since the ship is now double the size, I figured it would need double the um, double the health and the shield points. If I can find it. I didn't really change the garrison, except that I uh, removed the god-awful uh, deployability, which was so annoying. I always hated that. Um, I can't actually find the shield point. Oh, this, uh, well, I mean, that can go with the new, the new... S Fire range, actually, let's set that to this. Um, that can stay. Okay, so let's see. Scale factor, shield points, um, six executors buildable, what else? Uh, deployability is now gone. Uh, weapons will get to... Mm. Oh, I changed the population uh, capacity from uh, for an executor class from 3 to 16, because that's a lot more... Um, that is a lot closer to his actual power level, of course. Uh, tractor beam unchanged. Um, yeah, that's not changed up the death clone as well, of course. So it's larger. Um, 
I'm actually going to check the shield points. I may have accidentally removed that. Uh, shield. Shield. Shield type. Shield refresh rate. No shield points. That's interesting. Um, I must have accidentally deleted something. So bear with me as I make a very quick change. Um, what was the original executor's shield points? Going to do some on the fly modding here. Uh, apologies, this was meant to be a quick video, but we will have to... Uh, Let's see, this is the vanilla executor file. Um, mm -hmm. Shield points, 7000. Tactical health, 9000. What was the sh shield refresh rate? Was set to 150. I did test this in game, so I'm kind of surprised that must have been some recent edit. Shield, no, it's really not there. It's really not there. Okay, that's okay. Let's see. What a resolve. Tactical health. So, um, it was 7,000. Let's, um, I mean, double the sizes, really. Um, I mean, I think I set this to 15. I mean, I may, I, I may just set it to 20,000. Because let's be fair, this is a Superstar Destroyer. Uh, and we'll bump you up a little bit as well. No, let's not bump you up. Let, let's keep it reasonable. Um, we do want to keep it vanilla. Uh, we don't want to mod it too much. Okay, so basically um, the executor is now larger. It is slightly more powerful. It has a lot more um, population capacity. And it automatically spawns its garrison. Um, so that's all that. Um, I also changed its weapons slightly. Mm, let's see. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Example, um, all health values of the executor hardpoints used to be uh, 1000. Um, I changed it to 1250 um, because I felt that if we make the ship larger, um, there's going to be less hardpoints um, overall that the enemy can target. So the ones that they can target should have at least a little bit more health. Um, so a 25% health increase, nothing too major. Um, what is major though is the firing range. Um, I think this was 3300 for every weapon. I changed it to uh, 4800 for every weapon. This isn't too much. I didn't change uh, the fire rates or the amount of projectiles fired or the inaccuracy or anything else. Just a slight boost in health and a fire range increase so that now um, you can actually get the ship to fire at a single target instead of um, half the hard points not being able to hit the front of the ship, which I thought was a little ridiculous. Um, so that's a change. I personally found this to work very well. It doesn't actually make the ship overpowered um, at all because the hard point or the projectiles are actually quite slow. Um, so yeah, it'll work very well. Um, and last but absolutely not least, the tactical cameras. Um, I have changed the... Yeah, you don't actually need to look at this. Um, I changed the tactical cameras to the uh, version that the remake mod uses, which is the mod I am making. Um, I think it works very well and it looks nice and it's very cinematic in-game. Um, so yeah, I figured why not use it for my playthrough. Um, yeah, that's it. Real quick video and, uh, hope that was a little bit informative as to, uh, the small amount of changes that I have made to make the game a little bit more fun, a little bit more playable, um, and a little bit more exciting. So I hope to see you in the next, uh, the next playthrough, which will be uploaded soon. I will be recording several episodes, uh, back to back right now. And uh, I hope those shall be up. Uh, those will be up on YouTube soon. So thank you for watching, and I hope I will see you in playthrough. Bye bye.